All right, guys, this is it. Part two of the year-end eBay sales. Just closing out the year, showing you guys all the items that are going out at the very end of Q4 here. Some great sales that were made, so let's jump in. We'll show the rest of the sales, and I'll tally up all the totals at the end here for you. ATL resale guy. Sold my last Dominic the Dragon Squishmala plush toy for $34.99. I raised the price a little bit since it was the last one. Paid $14 for it, so I'll make about $20. This one's a really nice sale right here. A pink Sony Walkman. Bought this at the thrift store for $2.50. Sold on eBay for $59.99 with shipping on top. Buyer was international. Their total cost was $90 to get this. After cost of goods and shipping, should make about $50 profit. Sold a bunch of media, so let's start pulling. This Drop Dead Gorgeous board movie DVD set. Sold for $13.99, free shipping. Probably have a dollar into it, so I'll make about 10 bucks. This Daft Punk Electrama Steelbook Music DVD, sold for $27.99. With shipping on top, bought this for probably $3 or so, so I'll make about $25 on it. Big Time Rush, sealed, season one, volume two, sold for $12.99, plus shipping on top. Probably got this for a couple bucks, so we'll make about 10 on it. Lola Erase Una Vez, sold for $13.99, plus shipping on top. I think I bought this for three or $4, so we'll make 10 on that too. This Dragon Tiger Gate DVD, bought for a dollar, sold for $15.99, with shipping on top, so I'll make $15 before fees on that. This one sold, Fantasy Star Online 1 and 2 for original Xbox, sold for $24.99, with shipping on top as well. Probably have a couple bucks into it, let's say I'll make $20 on it before fees. And Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition for PlayStation 2. Same situation, in storage for a long time. Digging out a bunch of games for the 100 video game giveaway. Sold for $12.99 plus shipping on top, so I'll make about 10 bucks again. Sold this Prince Tennis Racket Case. Very good condition. It's like a backpack kind of carrying case for your tennis rackets. This sold for $39.99 plus shipping on top. Got this at Goodwill for probably like five bucks or so. So $35 profit before fees. And sold these two little Mr. Potato Head toys. This is like a uh, Mr. Potato Head pets, little cat and dog combination here. These sold for $19.99 with free shipping. I think I bought these at Goodwill for like a dollar. 50 cents each, something like that. So after fees, I'll make about 15 bucks. This Action Sports headset sold for $19.99, plus shipping on top. I think I bought this with another headset for probably like $8 total, so I probably have $4 into it. Let's call it a $15 profit before fees. Just listed this Philips VCR DVD combo for $48.99 a couple days ago. Haven't put it away yet and it's already sold. I bought this for I think around $8 or so at Goodwill. So I'll make $40 before fees. This DC Comics The Flash hat sold for $16.99 with free shipping. I bought this for $2 at Goodwill a good while back. Make about $10 after cost of goods, shipping, and fees. Here's an item that's been in storage for a long time. It's a Xbox 360 Connect bundle. This sold for $110 plus shipping on top. I've had this listed for over a year. I used to make video game bundles like this with the console. I just stopped selling them and so I stopped making them, but maybe I'll get back into that. I probably have $40, $50 into the whole bundle. So we'll call it a $60 profit before fees. Sold this Blu-ray in Seminoid. Just picked this up recently at Goodwill for about $3. This sold for $12.99 plus shipping, so I'll make about 10 bucks on that. And sold this K&N navy blue mesh back hat. Bought this at Goodwill for $2. This sold for $16.99 with shipping on top, so I'll make about 15 on that. This Capcom Monster Hunter small little plush with the tag sold for $27.99 with shipping on top. I got this at the flea market. I think I paid $1.50 or something like that for it. So I'll make 25 bucks before fees. This copy of RPG Maker on PlayStation 2 sold for $15.99 
with shipping on top. Excellent copy of it. I just kind of came across it in the boxes of video games that I was going through one day. Probably got it in a big bundle of games for a dollar or two, so make about 15 before fees. Sold one of these Play Sega USB computer remote controls based on the Sega Saturn controller, I believe. I got this in my most recent Facebook Marketplace purchase of a Sega Genesis bundle. It was really just a throw in, so thought I might be able to get some of my money invested back, and I did. $20 plus shipping on top. Sold this Samsung wireless rear speaker adapter for $24.99 plus shipping on top. I think I bought this at Goodwill for maybe two, three dollars or so. So we'll call it $20 profit before fees. And one of these little bundles just sold. It's a phone, a charger base, batteries, and a clip. I got these in a big bundle of these phones and a bunch of used ones for I think four dollars or so. This sold for $22.99 with shipping on top. So well into the profit on just the first sale. Sold this Logitech M570 trackball wireless mouse for $22.99 with shipping on top. Bought this at Goodwill for $2, so I'll make $20 before fees. This Jabra wireless Bluetooth headset sold for $54.99 plus shipping on top. I think I got this at the thrift store, probably paid about five bucks for it. So that'll be a $50 profit before fees. Total profit from both videos came to $1,119. Cost of goods, shipping, and fees landed at $486. Total profit from all the sales, $633. And since I spend about 10 hours a week, divide that $633 by 20 hours, ends up being $31 an hour on average. So in terms of total sales throughout the entire 2022 year, it was down from what I did the previous year. I guess mainly I've become a little bit more selective in the items that I'm purchasing to resell. I'm not just trying to find anything that I can sell and flip for a quick buck. That's not really where my priorities are at right now. My priorities are the channel and creating great content to share on YouTube. But I do appreciate everybody that's jumped on board with the channel this year. Stay tuned because big things are coming. We've got the 100 video game giveaway coming up once we hit 500 subscribers. And I'm working on a massive series that is in the video game genre as well and it's gonna be a lot of fun it's gonna be very informative and it's going to span over many many weeks and months but again thank you guys so much for watching thank you for subscribing I'm so happy to share this part of my life and my reselling knowledge and my collecting habits and nuances and techniques and all that with you guys I hope you are enjoying it until next time until next year 2023 ATL Resale Guys signing out. Oh,